This is Katie with Vintage and Vinyl back with another great video for you today and I'm very excited to finally be over at Wilson Equipment and Records. They are a wonderful little warehouse here in town that has some fabulous vinyl. I've been here once before and I just didn't have enough time because they're so big. It's a nice open warehouse with crates and crates of vinyl. So this is pure heaven and I can't wait to take you inside. So let's go folks.
my goodness, you guys, we are back from the record store and isn't that place just fabulous? I mean, there are just crates and crates of vinyl waiting to be discovered. It's a little warehouse, kind of back behind some buildings. In fact, if you were driving by, you'd probably think, oh, that looks a little sketchy, but it's totally worth the trip over there. And all the vinyl nerds in town know about it. So it is definitely a great place to go shop. Now it gets a little hot in the summer since they don't have air conditioning. And it's one of those places that you do need several hours to be able to take it all in because there's just so much from vinyl to reel to reel to tape cassette that's the CDs, to even cool audio gear. They had an amazing Marantz for sale that I was really, really interested in. And just great vinyl and good prices. So I really enjoy going over there. I've been there a couple of times before, but it's always one of those places, again, like I said, you need a lot of time. So it was the perfect day because it was cooler outside, which is rare for Florida, and I had all the time in the world. I spent about four hours there in pure heaven just going through all the crates. I was the only one in this massive warehouse. So I had the whole place to myself and it was just a great day. I picked up some really cool vinyl and I'm excited to share it with you now. So the first album I picked up, I'm pretty excited about because it's Gus Gossard's doo-wop album. Now I have volume two, but I don't actually have volume one. So I was really excited to find this in the bins. If you're not familiar with Gus Gossard, he was a big radio DJ in New York in the seventies. Unfortunately, they found him dead in his car and there were lots of police investigations, but he's really credited with giving the genre its name doo-wop. Now doo-wop is basically a nonsensical term that's in a lot of songs in the 50s and 60s and it really all started with the Delta Rhythm Boys who first featured it as a backing vocal in one of their songs and then in the 50s it really took off and was in a lot of vocal group harmony including the Rainbow song Mary Lee and then in 1960 the first time it was ever in print in a newspaper was in reference to the Marcel song Blue Moon and then of course here comes Gus Gossert and he really gives the genre its name doo-wop. So this this is his doo-wop album. Now, I think there are five of these, and these feature a compilation of amazing, amazing vocal group harmony uh, that you just can't find in the wild every day. So there are a lot of great artists on here, like the Shells, the Students, the Master Tones, the Dubs, Frankie Lyman and the Teenagers, the Acapellos, the Arrogance, again with the Nutmegs, the Quotations, the Harp Tones, so, so, so many good, good pieces of music that just are not as easy to find. If you know anything about 50s and 60s music, depending on the album and the artist, sometimes they can be really expensive or really, really scarce, uh, particularly with like 60s soul and then some of these doo-wop groups. So I'm so excited to finally have the first uh, in this set because this features some amazing songs, including one of my favorites, Play Those Oldies, Mr. DJ by Anthony and the Soft that came out in 1963 and I've been totally obsessed with that song and I am so glad to finally have it on vinyl now thanks to the Gus Gossard's doo-wop album and this is pretty cool because it came on red splatter vinyl so check that out that's pretty cool on jukebox records so this was a great pickup for ten dollars and I cannot wait to give that a listen now, I did pick up a lot of Lloyd Price albums I was so so lucky to actually get some original presses on the ABC label. I have uh, Lloyd's Price, Lloyd Price's first two studio albums, but I don't have any of his others, so I was really excited to see these in the bin. I just kept pulling them out, and I'm like, yep, yep, this is mine, I'm taking this. And it was just so exciting. So I got some mono presses and some stereo presses. The first one I picked up is Lloyd Price, Misty. Now this album is really, really good. It came out in 1963. It's got all kinds of songs like When I Fall in Love, Trouble, That Lucky Old Son, Cry On, Misty, and so many others on the Double L label. And this is just fabulous. So this is the only one I think that's not on the ABC Paramount label. And I'm really happy to pick this up. I love Lloyd Price. Now, the next Lloyd Price album I picked up is Lloyd Price Sings the Million Sellers. And this, I believe, is a mono first pressing. 
And this features, of course, a lot of uh, comp songs that he covered that were really popular in the 50s, so like Hoochie Coochie Coo, uh, Let's See I Count the Tears, Shop Around, At Last, Somebody Loves Me, Karina Karina, Once in a While, and so many others. And this album came out in 1961, and it just really is fantastic. So I'm so glad I picked this up. Now, on this label, he mentioned that it's a pretty good copy, but I gotta say, that's almost a mint minus. So, these records were in really good condition. I don't know where he got them from. He says that he buys some, and then some get donated, and, of course, he, I'm sure, shops at estate sales, and people come in with records. I'm not sure, but I think that these were all owned by the same person, but whoever took care of these really did a phenomenal job. Now, this next album I was really excited about because this is the exciting Lloyd Price. This is his third studio album. This came out in 1959. Now this features a lot of songs that were originally on his first two albums. So he's got songs on here like Lottie Miss Claudie, Oh Oh Oh, Mailman Blues, which you know I absolutely adore. But this features Stagger Lee. Yes, the Stagger Lee, that 1959 hit number one on the Billboard Hot 100. Now that song was originally first recorded in 1923 by Fred Waring's Pennsylvanians. And oh my gosh, this was a great find. So this has some songs from his first two albums, as I mentioned, but it's got a few others like Stagger Lee, I Wish Your Picture Was, where Were You on Our Wedding Day, You Need Love, and some other fantastic tracks. I believe that this is a stereo copy, and I was so, so, so excited to find this for $8. You just can't beat this stuff, guys. It's absolutely amazing. And the last album I picked up is the Fantastic Lloyd Price. I believe that this is a mono copy, and this came out in 1960. So I'm really completing my Lloyd Price discography here and I'm very excited about that. This has some great tracks on it, including What Is This Thing Called Love, Blue Skies, Undecided, Don't Blame Me, Mean to Me, Jeepers Creepers, Five Foot Two, and so many other great songs that are covered here by the fantastic Lloyd Price. So what a great all this was, guys. Oh my gosh, you can just tell I'm so excited. I'm such a music nerd, but I love my 50s and 60s stuff, and this was really a great find. Probably my best vinyl find so far of 2022, because, I mean, you don't find a bunch of Lloyd Price albums all together very often, so this was really a fun deal. So guys, I hope you enjoyed seeing my haul and taking a little fun shopping trip into a cool local record store that I don't get to visit very often, but I cannot wait to go back. I'm already planning my trip because they just had some great things. So before my next video, I'll be seeing you over on Instagram at vintage underscore and underscore vinyl. And I hope as always that you will stay in, stay safe, and bed YouTube. Bye-bye now. What?